Hey careers, it's Kimberly Rob Baker with this little brand. And I've been a little bit of a hiatus working on the This Little Brand University's first course. Uh, you can check that out at thislittlebranduniversity.com. And this week is pretty special. It's a bridge week. It's We're starting off in February and ending in March. And it's been uh, two months into the year. And or two-thirds of the way through our first quarter. And I'm kind of curious how you're feeling about the goals that you set forth for yourself for this year. Do you feel like you're, you've got a running start? Has it been a little bit of a, like, two steps forward, one step back, uh, kind of a kickoff for you? For me, it was a little bit awkward. And I found myself in need of a little inspiration and uh, and also just some tactical insights from somebody that I admire. And I remembered that I really loved Barbara Corcoran of the Shark Tank. I really loved her book, Shark Tales, that I read several years ago. And I thought of going back to that. And she is so very full of wisdom. I ended up listening to a few of her talks that are online. And I wanted to share some of her insights with you this week because I think she's got some excellent insights into getting past uh, stuck spots. And I feel, it just seems a general feeling. I felt it, a lot of my clients and colleagues have felt it as well. So today I wanna talk about how our our self-talk and our talk to others is like an indicator. That's like the bird, the canary in the coal mine, right? So what Barbara, Corcoran says is when she invests in a company, she knows she's going to lose her money if like three months down the road, the um, the principals, the founders start feeling sorry for themselves. So they start saying, oh, you know, just right when we started this market uh, changed in this way, or oh, isn't that our luck that our star salesperson, you know, had appendicitis and was out for the quarter, and this was a really important quarter. That kind of talk, uh, she says, when she hears that, that's it. She knows she's she's going to lose any money she put into that business. And she gives this really neat example of this lady who sells cakes who, that she invested in. And uh, after she kind of won on Shark Tank and Barbara invested in her, like that next day, her website went down and she didn't complain about it. She, she called, apparently she has some uh, nice Southern accent and she called Barbara and she said, hey, I'm forwarding all of my phone calls to you. I want you to hire nine actresses in New York to answer the phone and pretend to be me and take orders. And she's done so far over a million orders and cakes. Her down website didn't get her down even though it really should have been up the day after her Shark Tank episode aired. <laughs> she still figured out a way around it without um, feeling sorry for herself. And do we want to have compassion for ourselves? Absolutely. But we don't want that, um, the story of our misfortunes to lead our conversations with ourselves or with others. So that's what I invite you to think about today on this uh, Monday uh, towards the end of February and going into March of 2018. Is there any self-talk or even uh, talk to others where you've kind of gotten stuck in a story about how things just haven't gone your way. And maybe they haven't, but I've certainly had some really crummy times in my personal life recently and um, things haven't gone my way. But what I realize is that that's very true and I have tons of compassion for myself and for you if you've been in that situation we all have at some point in our lives. But it doesn't serve me and it doesn't serve you to have that story be writing our actions now, our decisions now, and our feelings now. So put that in your pipe and smoke it. Think about how how we can let go of those stories today and write a new story for ourselves, one of our own choosing.